Good afternoon, I'm Dan Hagen. Today in Up North at 4, we're going to head up to Manitouish Waters and learn about the history of a pioneering fish hatchery up there. We'll get to that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. Eagle River native Natalie Decker announced she's back on the racetrack this weekend. She will compete at the Charlotte Motor Speedway Roval. The 2.28 mile 17 turn Roval is called a street circus on steroids. Sounds wild. Decker will be sponsored by Jay DeMarcus, member of Rascal Flats and owner of Red Street Records for a detailed race schedule. Go to SVRA.com. Deadly crashes were up nationally all across the board from 2020 from 2019 but not in the northwoods but let's start nationally 42,000 people died in car crashes last year and that's an eight percent jump from 2019 and that's despite fewer people on the road because of the pandemic wisconsin as a whole was up 19 percent for fatalities now to the northwoods the northwoods was down about 17 percent and we'll tell you why on newswatch 12 at five the Merrill Fire Department just announced a dedication of their new display barn. It shows an 1892 horse-drawn ladder wagon in great condition that was used by the Merrill Fire Department more than a century ago. The display barn will be dedicated to former Deputy Chief Fritz Heller on Thursday, March 18th at 6 p.m. Fritz to pass away in 2019 and his family donated the display barn. Do you know someone who's making a difference, but maybe not getting enough recognition? Well, you could change that. And before I go too far, this only applies for people in the Rhinelander area. But anyway, the Rhinelander Community Foundation is now accepting nominations for its 2021 Unsung Difference Makers. Fill out the form on the foundation's website and nominations, they're due by March 31st. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us now. Jeff. Happy Tuesday. Hey Dan, happy Tuesday. Well, the clouds are rolling back in, but who cares? Because temperatures are doing this right now. 54 in Rhinelander with a southeast breeze at 13, and the pressure about steady right now. Over in Wausau, 59 for you, with the southeast wind gusty at 18 right now. So a windy day, but a warmer day today with temperatures up near 60 across parts of the area, including Mosinee, Stevens Point, Wapaka, Wisconsin Rapids. We get it. So today is our warm day, a bit cooler tomorrow as we have rain back in the forecast for tomorrow. But look at all the heat across the Midwest right now. Makes you want to take some clothes off, right? Not all your clothes, just some clothes. Uh, with 70s across the Midwest right now. And we're going to keep that going for several more days for them. For us, though, we're going to cool off a bit as we have a cold front coming our way. So our snowpack is taking a hit down to 9 inches in Rhinelander, 0 in Green Bay, 0 in Milwaukee, bare ground across central Wisconsin right now. And that will likely be moving our way as we have a healthy rainfall coming tomorrow that will melt the snow very quickly. Here's the trend though. Tomorrow, 48, 43 for Thursday, 34 Friday. You get the trend up and up and down, uh, but generally above the average high of 34 for as far as the eye can see right now. But we have rainfall in the forecast tomorrow that could end as a little bit of light snow late tomorrow night. For right now, the clouds are increasing as we speak and the system is not too far away. We'll get some rain in our forecast tomorrow morning that will linger through the afternoon. And that rain could be heavy at times with some thunder midday tomorrow into the afternoon and the whole thing kind of sweeps through with a couple leftover flurries Thursday morning and then we're done a good looking kind of Thursday into Friday is coming our way but look at these rainfall amounts we're talking maybe an inch of rain tomorrow that will definitely kind of wash out the coverts uh, cause some localized flooding and wash the streets of the sand and salt out there as well too you forecast then for tonight there was probably cloudy skies uh, the mostly cloudy skies lows of 41 your forecast at five o'clock planning an outdoor winter adventure? You need the app from the weather team you can rely on. The WJFW Weather Watch app, featuring hourly and daily forecasts, high resolution imagery, and opt-in push alerts to let you know when severe weather approaches. With all these features, you'll know the best days to be on the ice or when there will be fresh powder on the trails. The WJFW Weather Watch app is available in your app store now. Sponsored by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. Weather Watch 12, from where you live. He's dying. I should have been here. We are here now. You need to fix the valve. There's nothing to sew a new valve into. You'll make it through the surgery, right? New Amsterdam. New tonight on NBC. I know what happened to Flight 828. We are 
were so close to understanding. Oh God. Lagvi Desert Health Center in Watersmeet has the COVID-19 vaccine available on March 11th between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. for adults 18 and older. First come, first serve. Winter in Wisconsin is pretty special. The crisp air, the fresh snow. Oh, hi neighbor. I made you a casserole. Thank you. The helpful neighbors who, like Cellcom, are always available and willing to help. I shoveled your driveway, waxed your skis, noticed you were running low. I made you a cribbage board. Cellcom is Wisconsin's hometown provider, as accessible and helpful as your next door neighbor. And she's back. Cellcom, clarity in a cloudy world. A nursing home promises to care for our parents as cherished loved ones. But if your parents have been injured in a nursing home, we can help. Habish, Habish and Rotier. We fight for what's right. Check out this very creative person in this car, Jeff. You know when your like, license is expired, you have a DMV appointment, you get pulled over anyway. Well, this person I think is really smart. He's telling people, I got one scheduled. I am ready to renew it. for what, registration maybe for plates? Yeah, yeah, registration for plates, Virginia, May 6th. So this person is ready to get one. In other words, don't pull me over. I got this, I got this. I think you could just update that every month. I have appointment, you know, next month. But then it begins to be un dishonest. You know, that's probably an honest person. I was making, I was making a just, joke. Just, oh, is that a joke? Wait, do you think I that- I missed your humor. You think that person is an honest person? I feel like they gotta be. Yes. Oh, oh. I mean, am I reading it wrong? No, maybe we just have better-, better See, um, they're just saying, Hey, they could make it today, so yeah. they're gonna make it soon. Um, and maybe like, they're taking advantage of the system, but maybe not. That's like you hand someone in like an IOU when you if pay for dinner. If you're a police dinner. officer, would you pull this person over? No, I wouldn't. Okay, we'll Absolutely see then no. they're, whatever they did is working. Well, we're gonna do a hard left turn, speaking of cars. The YMCA Day of Giving is mm -hmm. today, Jeff. Very big day, they're trying to raise $5,000. And Jeff, let's just talk about how lucky we are to have the YMCA here in Rhineland. Well, you know, I've worked with them closely and I'm hosting the Teen Character Awards coming up as well. And I don't think we always realize how much the YMCA does for a community, right? Mm -hmm. They just, they do so much without really saying they do so much, they do so much, do you agree? Yeah, a great resource for kids. I know a lot of this $5,000 is going towards kids who maybe don't have a recurring meal every night, maybe can't afford to go to summer camp. So really important cause to incorporate these members of the community that might not be able to afford some of the services. Yeah, I think of that in conjunction with the other kind of social services around that really help the people who need oh, yeah, it you're right about that to sure. get back up on their feet. Definitely, definitely, Jeff. Well, I asked you a question today. I was kind of doing mm -hmm. something similar to maybe our pet peeves. Yeah. And I asked you if there's one thing you could change about mm -hmm. Rhinelander, what would it be? And I said Chipotle. And I said Chipotle But there's too. a story behind this because earlier today, the Vilas County News Review was here and they interviewed me for a, a piece they're doing. And he asked me the exact same question. If there's one mm -hmm. thing missing in the Northwoods, what would it be? Right. I go, Chipotle, bring back, bring in a Chipotle, right? So complete coincidence. And we did, uh, this, uh, there's Chipotle. So put that here and you know, we'll be round, well, more well-rounded, right? It's just, it's just weird that we both said the exact same thing. It's the perfect fast food meal a lot of uh, nutrients in there. I always fiber, feel full. beans, fiber, fiber, sure, yes. what, what not. So if you so. have money and you need, you know, buy a Chipotle franchise and put it in Rhinelander. No. We'll eat there. What you should do is send send a, a message to your um, local representatives. Like mm. I want a Chipotle restaurant nearby. Maybe we could get it start a grassroots movement. Uh, yes, let's start a Chipotle movement. Well, our floor director is going like this. So that means we're out of time. We got to go to break. We'll be right back, and we're going to learn about the history of a trail blazing fish hatchery in Manitouish waters. That's just in a few minutes. At r, &R Flooring and Furniture, we sell products that look good and products that last. A family owned company that's built our business on customer service and standing behind the products we sell. You'll find Wolfcraft, Lang, Franklin, and more. Looking to get the best sleep of your life? We have a mattress for you. Get a 15-year non-paraded hybrid mattress for 25 cents a night or less. And we also carry adjustable beds. When it comes to flooring, furniture, and mattresses, it's easy. Come to r, r Flooring and Furniture today. That's all it takes. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, 
humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. are you doing? Dude, I'm so excited. I just can't wait for summer. Can't wait to get on the water? Then get to American Marine and Motorsports for extended boat show deals. We have tens of thousands of dollars left in manufacturer rebates. Walk in or go to our website and book your VIP shopping experience now. Get the lowest prices guaranteed and pick from the most boats and pontoons in stock and anywhere else. Don't get left out in the cold. Get to American Marine. Shano. You've popped the question, now come in and pop a balloon to receive unbeatable prices and up to a 40% additional savings on your wedding bands during the Wickersham Wedding Band Blitz, March 11th through the 13th. The area's largest selection of wedding bands, all in incredible savings for three days only, March 11th through the 13th. One lucky couple from each of Wickersham's three locations will even win a $500 Delta gift card. Wickersham Jewelry, if you can dream it, we can make it. Welcome back to Up North at Four. We are heading up to Manitouish Waters today for our history segment. And joining us now is Jim Bokern. Jim, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Dan. Yourself? I am doing well, and I'm excited for this unique story. We have not had a story about a fish hatchery left. A fish hatchery yet, excuse me. So, so tell me about that. Well, really, it's a, it's a three-phase um, project that happened in the Great Depression in Manitouish waters. And the fish hatchery is probably most central, but we also modified fishing regulations and started the first fish lock, like a fish ladder, but it's an elevator to move fish upstream. So there's an enormous effort made by the community of Manitouish waters to uh, do fishery stewardship. And we led the state in all three of those categories. And I want to go over them with you. Sounds great. Let's do it. All righty. Well, you know, if you look at the one image that I have, the fish hatchery and the fish lock are in close proximity to one another, um, just below the Rest Lake Dam. The fish uh, way was the first item built in 1931. And then the fish hatchery was built in 1932. We'll start with the fish hatchery, and it became really quite a splash, and it was picked up in the Wakefield uh, news that uh, the small town of Manitouish Waters had built its own fish hatchery, the first in the state during the Great Depression. And they did so at a cost of $1,000, and it was a partnership with the DNR. And uh, back then, it was known as the Wisconsin Conservation Commission. So uh, the Wisconsin Conservation Commission knew, if you go to my 1929 to 1930 slides, that their existing fish hatcheries were not going to be sufficient for the demand. And they lacked the funds during the Great Depression to make this work. And so you only have the Eagle River and Woodruff fish hatchery in this area. And so they launched the Cooperative Hatcheries Movement. And our community, back then it was the community of Spider Lake, though it was called the Manitouish Waters Fish Hatchery, started its own hatchery. And if you look at the 1932 map of hatcheries from the Wisconsin Conservation Commission, I've marked with the yellow arrow, uh, Spider Lake, also Manitouish Waters. Um, and we started this entire process and it became a point of great pride. If you uh, look at the newly constructed image of the fish hatchery, you can see a gentleman standing uh, out the front door of it. And it was a point of achievement and pride throughout the community. It was manned by both Wisconsin Conservation Commission folks, as well as town residents. They would actually go out with fike nets, which are long hoop nets that are still used by the DNR today, and safely capture uh, walleyes for the most part. And then they would strip them of eggs and milt 
and uh, return the fish ever so gently back because again, the whole focus here was that notion of stewardship. During the Great Depression, there was a lot less money moving around and any community that could boast of a great fishery was going to enjoy more tourist travel and uh, more of that all important commerce. If you look at the interior of the um, fish hatchery in Manitouche waters, you can see the picture of all the eggs being set up and the uh, ponds for the fry and alike. And then they were all maintained by a group of three local residents who work closely with the Wisconsin Conservation Commission. Well, this became a big hit. And if you look by 1936, there are all sorts of municipal uh, and community fish hatcheries that start popping up throughout the North Woods in Pelican Lake, Pine Lake, Saner, Fish Trap Lake, Big Lake, Mercer, Glidden. So again, the Rest Lake fish hatchery, the Mattress Waters fish hatchery, uh, was a leader in this. We got some really nice pictures of the Mercer fish hatchery. And again, it was a great point of pride for that community. Right below Lake of the Falls, uh, the fish hatchery operated. And you can see in those images, a lot of the uh, timber still piled up there from the log driving era. And uh, another picture looking upstream at the Lake of the Falls. Camp Mercer of the Civilian Conservation Corps even got involved and made a dam and fish hatchery on uh, Rice Creek just below Big Lake itself. And remnants of that dam still stand there today. What's really kind of interesting is that Manitowish Waters continues to have a strong stewardship in fisheries. And uh, we have a strong chapter of uh, Walleyes for Tomorrow as run by the Kramer brothers and other community members that really continues this mission today. But we're not done. We're busy with the bar fish lock next. All right, Jim, we're going to pause you right there. We'll be right back after the break to continue this story. If you ask us, picking out new furniture should be fun. And when you work with us, it is. Home Furniture's free design assistance in your home or in our store. Visit Home Furniture today to create a single sofa or an entire room. Dream it, create it, love it. Find your style with Patriot Lighting. Save today with 11% off and choose from our huge selection of ceiling fans. Our ceiling fans add elegance to any room and reduce energy costs all year round. We carry a great selection of styles and finishes, so you're sure to find the look that's right for you. Save with 11% off all Patriot Lighting ceiling fans. View all of our lighting options right now on Menards.com. Save big money at Menards. ELM Repair in Edgar is a family-owned and operated full-service diesel repair shop from pickups to semi-trucks to heavy equipment and RV service. If it runs on diesel, we can repair it. Want more power and better mileage? Our experienced professionals will get your truck running and at peak performance. With a state-of-the-art dyno and fully stocked parts department, we can even come out to you with our 24-hour mobile repair service. ELM is always looking for passionate and talented people to join our team. The Diesel Doctor, have it done right the first time at ELM Repair. This week on Jeopardy. During my career, I've asked a lot of questions, but now I'm being asked the questions that I've given them the answers to. It'll all make sense when I guest host Jeopardy. Katie Couric, all this week on Jeopardy. The joy of guest hosting this show is that I learn something new every day. And every clue is for a good cause. We've raised over $100,000 for Stand Up to Cancer. Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Weekdays at 4.30 on NBC 12. Stop in to Home Furniture and Design for your immediate furniture needs. We have Lazy Boy, Smith Brothers, Dashley, and more ready for immediate delivery. Home Furniture and Design, West Grand Avenue, Wisconsin Rapids, and Post Road in Plover. So, Barr is a gentleman who is from Ironwood, Michigan, and Wisconsin fisheries experts had a strong opinion that the real decline in fish populations was because of all these dams from the logging era, blocking all the spawning. And fish ladders hadn't worked well in the area um, as they head out west for like salmon and so on. So uh, this gentleman by the name of Barr created this really interesting fish lock, which is actually a fish elevator. There's a nice picture of it next to some literature we have. 
and it's a big square concrete structure to the right of the Rest Lake Dam. And uh, we have all sorts of shots from his literature to show you how it operates. And um, we see that it had an exterior uh, water tripping system that after a period of time, water would flow in and would lift an interior gate. The fish were drawn into this square um, elevator container by flowing water. Then the door would shut behind them. That would time then a release that would raise the water in the cylinder to the very top. And there was a little spillway that they swam out and they jumped over the dam. And it was the first one that worked. And people had a great deal of pride within this. We have a nice aerial photo uh, with the orange arrow below the dam where the fish lock started, where they entered, and the yellow arrow uh, at the top of the dam. It kind of shows how uh, it allowed the fish to move. Many complained that the road that went over it, which was Highway 51 at the time, kind of limited the uh, effect of this because the dam was a little bigger than it had to be to accommodate the roadway. And another problem they had is so many people wanted to watch the fish. So they were actually scaring the fish away as they uh, would come in and try to get into the gates because it was absolutely a cool novelty of the area. They ultimately had to put fencing around the fish lock itself because people were going down there and messing with the fish. And uh, it actually turned out to work uh, pretty well. The data collected from this, because the Wisconsin Conservation Commission wanted this to be a data-driven model, uh, came from setting fight nets again, right where uh, the fish lock exited into Rest Lake. And uh, the DNR and locals every day would monitor uh, the, uh, the nets. We have a great picture of the whole town kind of showing up there in their Sunday best to watch these uh, local partners and Wisconsin Conservation Commission men pull up the fight nets and they have absolutely go through the counting of the fish ritual. And uh, over two years, they kept data. I have those data reports for you there. And it showed that the fishway was successful. So the first successful fishway or the way to move over these dams also happened in Manitowish waters within a year of the fish hatchery uh, opening. The final phase that we're going to go over is that uh, the Wakefield News also reported that Manitowish waters actually petitioned the state to change its opening day of fishing to extend it an extra week protect spawning fish. The, uh, the Manitowish Waters community also closed all fishing on November 1st and prohibited ice fishing. All of this to make sure that tourists knew, and I've got a nice picture of a bunch of walleyes that was used for promotion for Manitowish Waters in the, in the screenshot there, that if you want to catch fish, this is a place that you want to go to. And really, it's a, a fun element of our history and really showing how a small town could be very proactive, take a leadership role, and uh, cope with the challenges that racked the entire country in the Great Depression. Really cool to see some ingenuity, some trailblazing in the fisheries right in the Manitowish Waters area. Jim, thanks so much for sharing this story with us. Bet, Dan. See you soon. So much time at home. I need new furniture. Dylan, it's Slumberland's Build Your Room Sale. Look what you can get for just 20 30 or $40 a month. How about a dining room for just 20 bucks a month? I'm more of a pizza in front of the TV kind of guy. Oh, recliners. I've always wanted a couple of those. How about two of these for just $30 a month when you spent $1,800 and pay no interest for five years? Well, hello, Slumberland. Get new replacement windows and big savings during Renewal by Anderson's 31-day sale. Don't waste another minute dealing with your difficult, inefficient windows. Instead, 
Call for a free window diagnosis and see how Renewal by Anderson can help add more comfort to your home at an affordable price. Our exclusive low-maintenance fibers composite material is twice as strong as vinyl and it won't warp or bow like vinyl does. Call this number now because this fantastic offer and special financing ends soon. Call today. My name is Arthur, Merrill, Wisconsin. In August of 2019, I started getting numbness in my feet. By July of 2020, my feet were so numb. I lost a sense of balance. I thought I was walking on stilts. I seen this ad for Spinal Aid. I took 20 treatments from them, and, and by then my feet were 90% better and no longer felt as I was walking on stilts. Are you experiencing weakness, numbness, and or pain in your feet or hands? These sensations might even be affecting other areas of your body along with your balance. You might have already been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy and are taking drugs such as Lyrica, Gabapentin, or Cymbalta that never seems to help. Neuropathy pain ultimately diminishes your quality of life. Call Spinal Aid of Wausau today to see if our treatment methods are right for you. Call 715-203-1508 to schedule your neuropathy severity consultation or or visit us at SpinalAid.com. This is an immediate alert from Pintus and Mullins Law Firm. Attention, users of Roundup Weed Killer diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and other forms of cancer. The manufacturer of Roundup recently announced a settlement of more than $10 billion to settle these claims. If you or a loved one were exposed to Roundup and developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and other forms of cancer, you may be entitled to a substantial settlement. Call 800-215-7333 now or go to roundupsettlements.com. <laughs> Happy birthday to my mother. We there had a is. virtual lunch today. Those are my two brothers on the side. My sister was there. My father was there. So thank you so much, Mom, for birthing me many years ago. And happy birthday. Now, we got a schedule for the How We Got Here series. We're going to Rhinelander tomorrow. Then we're going to kind of the Boulder Junction, Mantuish Waters. That is a murder, a murder mystery mm. on Thursday, Jeff. That will be really fun. Friday, we're going to Prentice. I think Mr. Haken and he's going to tell me later today if that's a go. Monday, Price County. Tuesday, Land Lakes. Wednesday, Hurley. And Jeff, the snow's gonna be melting, right? Yeah, we won't We're, be here Thursday. We got rain, the snow's uh, yeah, gonna be gone. We have rain coming tomorrow. So, and possibly a lot of it. We could see close to an inch of rain tomorrow. Mm. But good news there is that it'll melt some more snow. It'll also wash the streets of all the sand and salt out there as well. So that's good news for us. I feel like we're done with snow for the season. We're not done with snow. What do you mean? Who are you watching? We are not done with snow. It's early March around here. There's, it's spring. It's going to snow again. It's okay. not spring. Spring's in 11 days. Okay, we're gonna make a bet on whether there's gonna be <sighs> more snow again, but we're out of time. So we'll see you tomorrow when we'll finalize that bet. Thanks for joining us.